What's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the GameCom and we are playing some more Egypt Old Kingdom. So, we're doing a good job of maxing out our population. We are only three foods short. Uh, we are about to finish our relocation of the capital. That should happen next turn. Uh, we got 21 food, which I guess last episode we ended up... Uh, we must have got another worker for that. Uh, we got new territory explored. We're doing a lot of world map stuff now, which is really, really good. Finding some really awesome food settlements, which is cool. Um, we're over here in, like, Israel-ish area, Palestine area. So, um, kind of intrigued to see what we can find over there. Um, so I think, if I remember correctly, after this, the relocation of the capital is gonna be the tomb building. Which, we beat last time, but, uh, we beat maybe a little too quick. So, we do have plenty of luxuries in production right now, so we should be okay. Um, actually, yeah, and the other thing too is we have so many expeditions going right now, so we're making a ton of stuff there, so. White walls, so, alright, we can either get more culture or we can get more favor. I think one favor is worth more than five culture when we're making 114 culture per turn. So I might have changed my mind on this, but whatever. So we ended up, uh, we got the advantages of the United State, which now means I think all the world maps. Yeah, here we go with the tombs. Okay, so we have 45 turns to do them. And you want me to send some relocation. You want us to take control of the Sinai Mountains. Uh, so go ahead and show me this one. Yeah. We need to take control of it and do what? Take control and mine using expedition. And so, if I remember correctly, it said you could do use diplomacy. Unfortunately, I think every time we've tried diplomacy with them, it hasn't worked so well. So, um, now that we have the United States, all of these river uh, tiles are giving me a heck of a lot more. So, you notice instead of like point something, we're making like three point, two points. So, we're doing really, really good there. Plus, we have the expeditions going. So, um, feeling pretty confident. Uh, I think let's go ahead. We did lose our food bonus. I still think we go here and we do Osiris again. Yeah. Yeah, because we should be able to get another one next turn, right? 38. Yeah, we can get another one next turn. So, um, I'm just making them all better. So, that's now 12.4 versus 10%. And look at the army one. Jeez. That's good. That's good. Okay, so, if I wanted to declare war on the baboon people. They have a slight advantage. A very slight advantage. So, what I'm thinking is maybe next we reduce their power by 12.4%. So then that 330... Do we have to send it to both? Maybe that was our issue before. Also got a lot of favor and a lot of... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm wondering... So, okay. Anyways, they are at uh, 331. So, uh, what is it? Like 12% less? 12.4% less. So 10% of that would be uh, 33. So you're talking about f they're going to be at like just under 300 compared to our 325. We are making 19 per turn though. So we are making significantly more per turn uh, probably than they are. Holy crap, there's a rotate on this game. <laughs> well, that's a first. We just now discovered that, but... Um, our population is going to keep growing. That's good. Uh, here's the thing. I might actually want to go work this tile now because that's a pretty decent one. We can improve relations. I don't think getting you to 100% though does anything. We can actually send out more luxury, but I don't think that's worth it. If What I really need is I need something I can send out to make more army. That would be awesome. More favor allows me... I think I'm going to grab the more favor. Oh, we already grabbed the favor. Ah, never mind get a little more production <laughs> we have a ridiculous amount of production right now the thing is every time we build a tomb we will lose quite a bit of that extra production because we're spending upkeep is five production which is a lot three food which is a lot and then two amenities or two luxuries so we'll actually be losing luxuries per turn kind of sucks well 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 how much are we making 15 per turn? You're gonna be two more turns before I can declare it. I think what we do is we actually grow our army. And then I think the next one 
we reduce the power of him, and then we go declare war. We're making ridiculous amounts of food right now, which is good, because that's going to allow me to keep growing. Uh, is there anything else in the world map that we might want to do? We could start the war. Yeah, because it's going to take five turns. And we'll have you in two turns. So let's go ahead and send you over here and get this going. So we technically have more. Hopefully we don't lose this battle. Uh, and that's been kind of our issue. Anytime we get in a really good spot, then we end up like losing the battle. So you're draining, which is going to give me a ton more resources over here. Uh, there's nothing we can do here. Uh, we're already running an expedition there. I think we're literally running expeditions in every place we can, except here. We might as well do that, too. Yeah, there's no reason not to. They won't even talk to us. You're running expedition, expedition, expedition. Yeah. And you should be almost around the world. Not really, but you're getting there. You're getting there. Okay, so next turn we can reduce the power. We got a one-time bonus of plus three. I mean, we got ridiculous amounts of production. It's awesome. It really is. Do we want to keep exploring? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent on that. I think we should. Because if we could get a couple more expeditions going, that probably is worth it. Now, the thing is, we're going to get a ton of food here. And I guess we're just going to start saving food. And that might not be the worst thing in the world. Because, like, remember, we're going to have that drought income here pretty quick. Um, I'm kind of holding off a little bit till we get our tombs. Because the thing is, the tombs take three turns each. That one's four turns, but it's because it's the wrong time kind of turn. A uh, tomb. So we just want the base stuff. Give me the base stuff. This isn't worth it. Because it gives an additional food. But we get a little extra culture. And Osiris is empowered slightly more. Screw that, dude. <laughs> that is not worth... That is not worth it, I don't think. Also takes one extra turn. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. So they're going to take three turns to build then. And we have to build eight of them. Which is so stupid. There's so many. Like, that's what makes the game so hard, is the fact that you have to build freaking eight of them. So, eight, 16, 24 turns is when we really need to trigger this. So we got another uh, 16 turns. Wait. 24, 18 turns, right? Yeah, we got plenty of time, so. Okay, war is about to happen. Let's go ahead and reduce the power of the enemy. Uh, don't want to grow because that's going to reduce all of our stats. So we're just going to hold on to our food, uh, our people. You now are going 294 against our 364. So that gives us a pretty significant advantage. We're still growing at 25 per turn. So we're going to be over a K here before we actually uh, engage this battle. And now we're going to be just shy of it. But, alright, I think we just keep going. I don't think there's really much else we can do. I would love if this did... Yeah, we need the extra amenities. Plus three, plus four. They're the exact same. And I don't care so much about that. Although tax revenue is nice. I think we go for the luxury boost. The other thing we got to keep in mind is we're losing 5.8 on spoilage. So our income on luxuries right now is almost double what it is. It's actually over double than that. So. All right. So we did explore over here in this region. We are now losing two extra favor per turn. That sucks. That one's a bad one. Two per turn is pretty ridiculous. Hold up. Got some windows update. There you go. Uh, ancient Syria. So we got a one-time culture boost on there. Not bad. And we got an expedition successful. Okay. You are also now done. So you're making me stuff. Cool. We can't go any further over here. But we can, I think, get the logs. No. That's a lot of production. Why is it impossible? I don't know why you can't launch an attack. Also, there's no way our army can do it. <laughs> I would like to assimilate them, man. Making that 7.3 production would be awesome. Do we want to spend the time? I just don't feel like it's worth it to... That's 12 every turn. And for 3%. So, hold up. Let's actually pull out a calculator and do the math here. So, we're at 100% minus 24, which is 76, yes. Divided by 3... It's 25.33333, repeating, of course. And then we want to take that times 12. So it's going to cost me 304 luxuries. We have 136. Not worth it, man. 
Not worth it. I would love to get that production, though. I wonder if maybe we can't launch the army because we don't have the adjacent tile. So, you know what? Let's grab that, then let's grab here. And I, I kill. I kind of still want to keep exploring. I think that's really good right now. Back to positive events. Is there anything we can do army-wise right now? Growth and luxuries. That's just per turn, and it's pretty minor. Negative effects, don't think I care about. I think we hold on. I don't need more food right now. No, I, actually, let's keep doing Osiris. Yeah, keep doing Osiris, dude. All right, we found more people. There we go. So our strength, damage inflicts negative 12%, their strength is negative 25%. <sighs> Come on, there we go. No, yes, yes, good, 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 good. Ah, oh, we're gonna do it, heck yes. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so this is awesome. We barely lost anyone, we lost 53. Which it would do, we are going to make everyone else like us a little more. So we're gonna leave. And then we're going to immediately take our army. Are these the same guys? No, these are two different groups. So we're going to immediately take our guys and go ahead and annex them. Because they have no army now. So it's going to be five more turns on that. We did lose a little bit of troops. And we're actually not gaining that many troops right now. But that's okay. Uh, I think I want more amenities. Oh, snap. We can go way up here. Tax revenue or growth? Uh, you know what? I should grab the growth. Yeah, I should do the growth culture. Is there anything for more army around here? This is nice. That's also nice. Tomb construction costs. That is amazing. <laughs> I need you. I really that's what I need more. I need tomb, yeah, upkeep. Tomb bonus efficiency, tomb construction cost. One time what? I don't even know what that is there. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what that one time is. Huh. A priest or something? That's what it looks like. So there's literally nothing to raise my army from this point. It's kind of disappointing. Okay. Where did we get this extra pop from? From here. Okay. So we can come here. We can go grab... Oh, no. We can colonize it. And we can do expeditions for dyes. Yeah, let's go ahead and colonize it. That's fine. It doesn't cost me anything to colonize. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go colonize. All this extra food, man, I want to use it, but there's no reason to. So, uh, let's see. Bulwark is power of enemies. We will want to trigger that again. So, we'll want to wait for that, because we'll have to trigger it before we actually go um, fight the war. And then, we'll probably use you to uh, get the Copper Expedition. Question is, is there anyone else I want to put out there? Because we do have that other army over there, too. I mean, some of these tiles are pretty worthless. Yeah, I mean, 2.2 .2 food right now, like, meh. <laughs> One product, yeah, like, I mean, I suppose in the scheme of things, I would much rather you come up here, and we can't, why? Because our troops are already busy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They have a very small army, so that's definitely worth it. We can't interact with you or do anything else. I think we take you and keep exploring. We got four turns, so yeah, let's go explore this one. Yeah, I think so. This one thing I didn't do in the previous games is explore, and I'm finding exploring seems to be really, really good. So, um, also expeditions are awesome. You just need the food, so having these guys up here is going to help tremendously. We are two turns away from coming back from Crete, which is going to give us massive, massive, massive culture, which is hell yeah, dude. Uh, we want to hold off because I need one more turn before we can do bulwark. Did a little more exploring. The scared people are a little further away. Or a little closer than we thought. Uh, okay, so reduce the power of enemies. That is important. They grew back pretty quickly, though. Yeah. That's a little on the scary side, but we're okay. So more scared people. There's not really anything else we can do here. So let's go grab the eight, which is one I really wanted to explore that tile. Anyways, but I decided to grab that since it was close. You know what? Screw it. Let's just grab the four and then we'll go get the eight. Because usually the eights tend to be a little more important. That's why they take so long. So, all right, Seth. Screw you, Seth. We got two more protections, so we're good there. Did we come back from Crete? Yeah, there we go. 400. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, where else can we explore? Still only now Balkans. 
Oh, so they basically just trigger up. So they're a one-time boost, and they just go give you one extra 100. Uh, except the times get longer and longer and longer. I still think that's worth it, because, I mean, look. Well, okay, maybe not. That's basically one free tech. We have 900. So we could grab tax revenue, which can give us a boost across the board. We can grab extra luxuries right now, which could be useful. I think we're going to grab this one. Unlocks improvements for Royal Tomb, Palace of Eternity. Problem is the improvements probably cost more per turn crap. So I think I'd rather just keep our luxuries going up. Okay, we colonized. We have a almost a double advantage right now. We're going to keep defending. Warriors are shouting, frightening the enemy. Is that us or them? All right, got the commander. Let's go. All right, well, that was easy. Yeah. Okay, so we submitted them pretty easily. So we want to, once again, release. So they're now uh, our Egyptian people. Nice. They're not, unfortunately, that's the only downside with this, is um, we have to actually work the tile to get what I want. But I think we go for the production boost, right? I mean, is there any reason not to keep sending out expeditions? Well, we also have the, the, the quest for it, so sure. I think we go for the kill. I think we straight kill. I think we can. Oh. I'm going to wait. Yeah, because we're two away. And I'm going to grab the statewide cattle count because I want the revenue. Which should also uh, give me more army per turn. Although, I mean, the extra favor is nice. It's not as necessary. We got four turns, so ah, we're going to be a little short again. That's okay. Colts. Cyrus. Yes. Question is, we do need to start these tombs. But remember, it was at like 24, right? 8, 16, 24. So we got a little bit. We probably want to give a little extra time just in case. So maybe at like 28. We actually launch it. Okay, give me tax revenue. So our army's at 15. Yeah, 18. That's what I thought. Tax gives you everything, which is nice. Um, With the extra food now, I'm going to go ahead and keep sending these guys out. I'm going to send you over here to the 8. Because I want to see what the heck's over here. You only got one turn left. And then... We finish colonizing. We have to actually work it to get it, though. What happened? Oh, you went here. We actually have extra housing now. I think because we submitted them. Okay, that works. Is that worth the luxuries? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not, let's be honest, but sure. Okay, I think we good. Let's keep exploring. You found different people who also hate me, but that's fine. So war is raging between Elfin and Jackal. In this war, both people despoil each other's lands in the name of the gods. We saw this one before. So we got a chance of the Elfin victory, 1%. Chance of Jackal victory, 5% every turn. So I want to... I don't know if we like either of these people. Elfin, do not like us. Jackal? Do not like us. Actually, the Jackal straight up hate us. <laughs> let's, let's not lie about here. If Is there any reason we actually want to support? We will gain plus four relations. Problem is, like, even if you look here on the these guys, are at 36%. So four times four is 16. We're only going to get to 52%, which is neutral. But they literally have nothing for us to do here. Like, you're not even producing food. I think I would rather them just kill each other and then... We go raid the Jackal and make them our punks. Because their army's smaller than us. Yeah, I really think that's what we just do. Also, where did I just take this guy from? <laughs> Crap. I took you from somewhere. Where? Were you extra? Was it you? You might have been extra because of that. Yeah, you might have been extra. In which case, let's put you here. And let's go over there. Because that's got to be Sahara, right? Surely. 30 turns. We're going to wait two more turns. Uh, I need to trigger the war one. We got one more turn, so we're going to wait. 
So, got a resource bonus. Sweet. I want to reduce the army of our enemies. Here's the thing. The more we reduce the power of the enemies, the less troops we lose, which allows us to kind of keep conquering more often. So, I think that's totally worth it. I will grab the favor now. We're only making 11 per turn, so getting that extra favor is probably not a bad thing. Okay, bunch of exploration. Our strength think of 70%, dude. We still have a pretty decent, oh god, a pretty decent lead. And there goes the kill. Good, 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 good. Go back to defend just so later we don't have to worry about it. And we want to keep releasing. So they're now Egyptians as well. Another 4.8 production there. So, And we do want to put you there because we want to go ahead and do another uh, uh, expedition. Okay, we have a lot of expeditions incoming. We also gained a couple more people, which, hey, I will take. 16 turns. We got to see what's there, man. 16 turns again. Yeah, we go and check out these 16 turns, man. You want to colonize here? I don't know what, like, this one only gave me a little bit of amenities. So I don't really feel like we should colonize. I also should probably get another expedition here. So then in that case, let's go grab a little more food. Because we're starting to run a little short on food. Not terrible, but... Yeah, we should have done that a while ago. <laughs> We domesticated those guys forever ago. And you can actually go ahead and build me a farm here now. And was there anything else we need to domesticate? You were already domesticated. So I guess you just go work one of the 2.2s. Give me some extra food. Our food's 212. What the heck? <laughs> All right, we're at 28 turns. I suppose it's time. We're still making every resource. We're building tombs and we're still making resources. And that's with having 1.1K production. <laughs> Elfin tribe has defeated them. So they gained a little extra people. Jackal people lost some people. Guess who gonna die? Jackal people. I think we need to launch a raid first just to reduce their power, their army, and then we'll do the full on attack. What do we get over here? Petroglyphs. Which did what again? Give me a one-time favor or culture boost. Give me the favor, actually. God, we're always one turn off on this bulwark, man. Give me more army. Oh, that, that literally just gave it to me then. Oh, okay. I was expecting it to be like a four turn thing. Uh, all right, that works. Let's see, you're going 15 turns, 15 turns, you got three turns. We're not doing any exploration down south, that's okay. We are pretty much running every expedition possible. Yes, sir. And we're still making food. <laughs> what can I say? We're in a really great spot, dude. Uh, okay, so we're making 12 per turn. This is going to cost 45, so it'll be like 48, so 12, 24, 36, 48. It's going to take four turns probably to get the next one. Um, and we got four turns till we do the raid. I think we got to hold off. Yeah, I think we got to wait for you to finish. And what we should do is because it's six turns, we should literally wait till the turn before to trigger. All right, tomb number one's done. If we can get more favor per turn... Actually, that's going to give me a lot more favor, because that's 2.5 uh, favor per turn now. Uh, give me a little extra population limit, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we're making extra favor per turn. And we're actually going to make the worship cost cheaper, too. We are losing production now. So we can grab you. And we should have no problem grabbing the army one. 36. Yeah, we will definitely get that army one in time. So there's our two extra people. Uh, do we need to get work production? I mean, it's, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> but then again, we have 1.2k. We're literally losing 60 a turn in spoilage. <laughs> uh, that's just ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. 
Uh, also keep in mind, we have like four or five expeditions going on right now. So... So even with all these expeditions right now, we're getting, like, we're making so much bonuses. Like, so many extra. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a great spot. So we're going to totally fail probably the next mission then. Because <laughs> that's how it works, right? So we got serpent people over here. They have dry wells. They have sand, incense. So we could run an expedition for incense if we went over there, but nah. The cedar we can't actually do, right? Yeah, because we have to actually subjugate them. And they have a ridiculously large army. Here too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how. I guess apparently maybe someday you can actually wage war. <laughs> uh, somewhere like uh, uh, further lands. Without getting such a uh, reduction in army strength. It's the only thing I can think of. This looks like a nice little oasis. So let's check you out. We want to wait on the bulwark. Wait for the bulwark. What? What? Crap! Well, we just lost someone on our expedition, so there you go. We have plenty of food to get another one, so we're, we're okay. Power enemies, reduce, please. Okay, so now, you got 340 against our 460. Yeah, they're gaining army pretty quickly. That's the only thing I don't like about this game, is I feel like the AI gets army so much quicker than you. We're making 22 per turn, man. And they just, they just kind of like school us in army. We could get rid of our workshops, honestly, and build more. That might not be a bad thought. We're gonna keep doing it. So he's ambushing us. Are you kidding me? Are we gonna freaking lose this? There you go. Push, 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 push. All right, I almost bailed on that one, which would have been bad. There we go. There we go. Woo, that got scary, dude. I also feel like our army, having won so many battles, should be a little better at fighting than maybe these other guys. Uh, but anyways, we're going to, once again, uh, improve relations, I think. You know what? Screw it. Devastate them. I need to devastate them, because we got to straight declare war again. All right, another temple. We are losing a lot more production now per turn, but that's okay. You are going to come here and enslave them. Or annex them. <sighs> Do we pass any tax? It doesn't look like it. So we got a little more production there, more tax revenue. You know what? I'm going to do tax revenue again. Because that's going to give me more production, but it's also going to give me more army. <laughs> Which I think is important. Uh, I would love you. I don't need anything else right now. I think all we want is culture and reducing the enemy. We got one more turn until we get you. Okay. So what was the other thing? Oh yeah, we talked about potentially trashing some of these workshops. And getting barracks instead. Obviously, if they have the flint, no, we should keep that. Houses now. Actually, we might have workshops. Yeah, it looks like there's not a place we could trash. Because barracks. You're a house, but we can't afford to get rid of you. You're a house in the right spot. You are a workshop with the flint. You are a barracks. You are a house in the right spot. You are a temple. You are a workshop in the right with flint. You're a workshop with flint. You're a barracks. You're a barracks. You're a workshop with flint. Yeah, that sucks. I'm going to get more army then. I mean, we do get quite a bit from these from the river, but man... I would love to have, like, hey, we can send people here and... Oh, your relations are up to 55%. Uh, maybe... Well, you know, someone mentioned we could trade, too. That's just food and amenities. Or food and luxuries. Yeah, it's not really that worth it. Because, once again, I really just want the army. Alright, so we got to worship... Shoot, I didn't realize we had that much extra. Crap. Well, we did that wrong. That's okay. Um, plenty of food. Plenty of production. Here's the other thing to keep in mind. How much are we building? Yeah, we're spending 30 on construction right now. <laughs> so, we really have a ridiculous amount of production. So much nicer to max out population. Really, really, that was good. 
Okay, so we're about to have a trial. Which needs a little bit of everything, which is gonna suck, but it won't be the worst thing in the world. You seem interesting. Wheat people, they don't like me. It's good spot. Convenient for the development and infrastructure. Uh, all right. They also have a ridiculous amount of people, so all right. I think we keep exploring. Let's go check out the Sahara. You, let's see, three turns, three turns. We should be fine on that. I think they'll have the reduction. So let's keep pumping up Osiris, man. When do we get you, 11 turns? And then you're at eight and eight. Sounds good. Temple three done? So we have two more temples, 19 turns. No, five more temples. Yeah. So we'll have four extra turns right now. Making a ton of freaking culture here and uh, favor. Yeah, five more turns. What if you just fail it? Because <laughs> I just don't want to, like, I mean, honestly, like, is there any reason to build it and not just fail it? Because I'm making so much stuff and by building it, I'm going to start losing a bunch of stuff. I don't know. You might just lose the game. So, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. We got glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are losing production now, again, but... We're also losing food, so arid period. There we go. We knew it was coming. <sighs> what do we need to do to get this food? We could go work this other one out here. I don't think working... Yeah, we can't actually work you. Anyone else gives a decent amount of food? We could stop one of our, you know, expeditions, but screw that. I don't actually need these amenities either. So I might just take you back home and work um, somewhere. We're going to have to build one. Yeah. Give me another grain field here. Yeah, I think I just want the straight food. I'll be fine. So here goes our war. Friendly panic chance plus 50%. Freaking hell. Seth, man. Alright, there we go. Screw you, Seth. We won despite you, man. Oof. I was a little worried about that one. I didn't want to wait, though. Okay, so subjugated. I don't want the people. Because we can buy them. We're losing an additional 5% per turn now. Uh, yeah, 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 so we need to send someone over here to Jackal Tribe. We could do another expedition for 30 production. I don't think that's worth it, though. That's 45, 15, 30 production, 15. Nah, we're going to hold off. I don't think I'm even going to send you there. Because we're losing a lot of food per turn. So what we should look at grabbing now is... Uh, Osiris, or Hapai. Hapai, that's your name. We also want another person. So, um, I'm gonna send one here, and we're gonna clear out the swamp, because I'm gonna put another farm there. Uh, and then I think we're gonna send you here, and also clear out this. And we're gonna build two more farms. So we're probably gonna have to keep Hapai through the negatives, but... I love how we have two more set chances, and we didn't even get it. How many more tombs? Okay, we got one more turn on that one, that sounds fine. There's tomb four, so we're halfway through our tombs right now. Our army is gaining, you know, almost 30 per turn, which is awesome. We could go settle over here. Don't think so. Royal Crisis has started. Is this the... We together with horse and the gods are searching for solutions to the crisis. Seth is raging. We have to quickly find a way to restore royal authority. So, we're losing 5% per turn. So, okay, if I remember right, when we beseech, that just makes these cheaper. Chance of success. Okay. We have plenty of this stuff, so... Beseech. We 
We need to get to 75%, so I need one more. There we go. So we gained a little extra uh, favor then. We did lose a little production there, but very minor. Very, very minor for what we're trying to do. We're going to keep popping out tombs. Good. Um, I think cults, I would like to keep you going. I'm not worried about enemies right now. So we could go here with Osiris. Probably twice. How long until... Horus is only one more turn. You're up 42. So 15 is going to put us at 38. Well, actually, we're... <laughs> Here's the thing. Wait, wait. 15 is going to put us at 68. Minus 42 is going to put us at 24. So we're not going to be able to do another one. I still think we do it. Yeah, I still think we do it and we wait an extra turn with a lesser army. Um, population. We were exploring with you, so let's keep exploring with you. Let's fill in some of these other tabs. And increase by 5.2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our tombs. We got expedition. And we built some grain fields. Cool. So you need three more turns and then you guys are good to go. Um, yeah, I think we're probably uh, at a good spot right now. We're making 14 food still, which is nice. We have... We have... Four tombs to go, 12 turns, and we have 16 turns to do it. So I think we're fine there. How did our expeditions for the copper go? We got three turns and eight turns. Yeah, that one took a little bit. I feel like we actually probably already did this one, so I don't know. I feel like we've already done this one. I think you might have to do both for it to happen. But surely we did one of these expeditions because there's eight turns left. Also, holy crap, 1672. Those are ridiculously good. But yeah, we're going to put a cut in the episode here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be alerted to all my videos in the future. Uh, for now, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.